I'm kind of sad because I really enjoyed it here. Oh, I got you. And it always seems safer, except for this. They have pies. Did you get donuts? Yes. I had plenty of uh, wire there to wire it to this light. Oh. Just like that, we're in Oregon. Just in time. Or in rain. 2.94 for an upload. Just a little over five miles from Niagara Falls. You like to see their menu? Is this what you expected? No, uh -uh. not at all. Well, we are leaving the St. Ignace and Mackinac Island area. I'm kind of sad because I really enjoyed it here. Yeah, it, it's a lot of fun here. Yeah. Really enjoyed it. We'll definitely be back. This campground is a, a very good campground to stay at. We highly recommend it. A little bit bigger opening down there. Once you get down there, it's like, it's wide yeah. open. Because you can actually go down to the shoreline. A little and then, beach. Yeah, and then look over at uh, Mackinac Bridge. Yeah. So we're uh, heading to Niagara Falls and we're going to spend one night at a Harvest Toast. We're excited to uh, get there. I'm not going to tell you where it is yet. Because, <laughs> you know, plans change too. So. <laughs> we were young and we were free and running. Never bothered about what could be coming. Every day we danced and life was smiling. We were young and drunk and love. Years later, I have started thinking if it's just love in every glass I'm drinking, we're like one and without you, I'm sinking. I'm always shining next to you. First part of our excitement is crossing the Big Mac, yeah, Mighty Mac, yeah, not the one from McDonald's, <laughs> yeah, Mackinac Bridge. If you get on the Shepler's tour to go to Mackinac Island, uh, a lot of the earlier. Uh, Departures will actually go underneath the bridge and get up close. It's pretty cool. I have always been afraid of changes, but you show me life is full of faces. Thank you, thank you. Sometimes clouds got in our favorite places, but we were young and unaware. Oh, I got you. There's no reason to chase and pay. Except for this, I'd have to say. In that motorhome, it didn't feel as safe. It, you could tell. It was a big difference from 62 to even 65. But it is. It just feels no different. At the motorhome, there was a huge difference. Alright, we're going to pull into a rest stop. Shell's going to drive now. Merge onto I-75 South.
Gonna make a little pit stop and switch drivers. We're only 47 minutes from the Harvest Toast. Cider slushy. She heard those are really good. Taste. Mm. And they have pies, and Pie Girl gets donuts and apple cider. Did you get donuts? Yes. <laughs> How was those peaches? Very, very good. I think we're going to get some. Good morning, Vietnam. No. Uh, it is a beautiful morning out here. We're at the Harvest Host Erie Orchard and Cider Mills. Inside the shop, they have a lot of goodies. Michelle heard that that apple cider slushy was really good, and it was. We actually went and got two more <laughs> last night, right before they closed, just to have something to cool us down a little bit. It was a little muggy, but it, it cooled down fairly quick in the evening. Um, they got some fun things to do. We didn't get to go through these two barns here before they close. I apologize. I wish we could have. Kind of got sidetracked. Um, I, I get sidetracked so easily. Um, but they have a fun area for kids. All this playground over here. Little bikes and tricycles and stuff. And a little playground for the kids to play. Which is really nice. Um, uh, you can pick your own fruit, as the sign implies, you pick. Talking about the fruit, don't pick your nose. You can walk down here with your with a bag and fill up a bag, or you can pull your car down there. Sign does say, we will check your trunk before you leave. They didn't check our RVs though. My God, they're full. Just kidding. We didn't actually pick anything. We just went inside and, and purchased a... Uh, we got some peaches, which the peaches are really good. They had samples. Uh, and we got some blueberries. We got some um, barbecue sauce. It's morning. We finally got one of those Level Mate Pros and we got the Plus version. So the Level Mate Pro Plus allows you to keep the unit plugged in with power constantly. That way, all you gotta do is turn on your phone when you go somewhere, while you're still in your truck, you can tell how level you are and you can pull in spots, back up a little bit and just dial it in without getting out, looking at a level. Comes in really handy for like a travel trailer. But one thing you gotta keep in mind is you need continuous power to it because as soon as you turn off your shore power, if you have an RV like ours, where certain plugs only run off of the battery, it limits you to where you can put it. You wanna put it in an area that doesn't have a lot of obstructions getting to your phone because it uses Bluetooth. So what I did is I had this light here that is connected to the battery. So the wires to that light, you know, have a positive and a negative. And all you need to do is wire your positive and negative to your Level Mate Pro Plus. Tie them into the back of that, and I put the Level Mate Pro Plus right up here. It takes very, very little battery to run that continuously. 
That way you don't have to get out when you go somewhere and go flip the switch on um, like the old ones that wasn't the Levelmate Pro Plus. Bugs are bad here. But that one ran off of a battery. This can run off of a battery also, but I took the battery out and left it out um, because if you leave a battery in for so long, you know, it starts to leak acid and that. So I just left it out, wired it direct, comes with a USB cable. Well, I just cut this USB cable and you may be wondering why did I cut and leave this much on here? Well, that was just in case I needed to strip this and wire it back and use this again until I uh, bought a new cable. So I had plenty of uh, wire there to wire it to this light. So I did it that way and it, and it works great. We pulled in here yesterday, pulled over to the side and I just turned on my phone, just went little by little and I watched the, uh, the gauge on it to see how level it was. Um, and then got to a spot to where left and right was right on. And then all you gotta worry about is your, your front to back. We were off a little bit front to back, but we left it that way since we're just spending the night here one night. It's really simple to hook these up. There's two measurements that you need to do like on our travel trailer. First one is your, your back wheel. You measure from the center of this wheel to the center of your jack. And the second measurement will be the measurement from the outside edge of this tire to the outside edge of the tire on the other side. And the app, when you start it up, it walks you right through the whole process. Like I said, it's really, really super simple. So it's gonna find it right now. It's found, it's connecting. And as you can see, it's, it shows that I'm 0.25 of an inch off. So that's your side to side. And like I said, or an inch and a half off front to back. But we just went ahead and left it that way since we're just staying one night. We're gonna get ready to leave here and um, head to Niagara Falls. stop at we're gonna take uh, highway 2 you know, rides along the coast a lot of the way it should be a prettier view and it was only a 10 minute difference on the maps uh, and the maps are judging by the speed limit so 10 minutes isn't really worth taking the interstate for less of a view and tolls so we would have had to pay tolls going that way also. But we want the view, and uh, if we're only going 62, 63, it's not gonna be 10 minutes faster going that way. If it's a 70 mile an hour speed limit, the other way, I'm not sure yet if it's 70 or if it's gonna be a 60 or 65. Well, we're going to another place we've never been before. Niagara Falls. In 1.7 miles. Another bucket list. Yes. Searching for a place to fall There's a time for us I know we could have it all If you stay for a while I will show you I can make the call mm -hmm. I know we could have and it all Just like that, we're in Oregon We are That was fast We like cut across so fast Time warped <laughs> Well, I don't know if that would be time warp then. Hyper speed. Anyway, Oregon, Ohio. <laughs> and we're going to stop at um, a shell station. That's where we're going to get our cheapest fuel on this drop route. Shell, yeah. Shell, yeah. Is that what you're wearing today? Yeah. Uh, shell, yeah shirt. Shell, yeah. <laughs> no, it's not one of ours. She got it at the Great Turtle? Yeah. And on Mackinac Line. Great Turtle on Mackinac Island. It's a pretty good restaurant. It was good. Been wandering around and searching for a place to fall. There's a time for us. I know we could have it all. If you stay for a while, I will show you I can make the call. Mm -hmm. I know we could.
found a Costco just right off the interstate. We're gonna get a few groceries. Oh, oh my gosh. Just in time. Yeah. Like started. Boring. All right. Turn your lights on. They are. That's why that camera's going up there. Was it Not earlier? Not that camera. No, it wasn't earlier. And we should look before you start speaking. Yeah, that was waiting for In a quarter mile, turn right. I'm a rolling stone, bound to roam. Come the morning, or I'll be gone. Quick driver change. We are on Interstate 90. We're coming up to the Pennsylvania state line, leaving Ohio. And uh, at and is a clear winner, 41.2 for a download, 14 for an upload, T-Mobile 11 for a download, and uh, 5.73 for an upload. Verizon is getting a signal here, and it got a 14.8 and a 2.94 for an upload. Falling leaves like the breeze. Oh my God, try to say this town name. What is the name of, what is? Stara Ratatania. Full hookups, 50 amp service. We're gonna go take a quick drive down to Niagara Falls. We're we're only just a little over five miles from Niagara Falls. So we're just gonna take a quick spin down there. What time is it, hun? I don't know. It is six o'clock. You like to see their menu? So since we're gonna be in the area for just one week and we're working all week, we have uh, the evenings and then next Saturday. Next Saturday will be our big day to come to the Niagara Falls here and uh, see everything. One thing we're really surprised with is being uh, in the metropolitan area. Like yeah. all the buildings and it's uh, Shopping, not- yeah. restaurants. It wasn't anything like we expected, but pretty cool so far. Is this what you expected? No, uh -uh. not at all. Catch us next week as we share our amazing experience at Niagara Falls. The 
let's call it a day. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, click that little bell, and hit that thumbs up. See you next week. Bye.